Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. It has definitely been a while since I filmed. I think, yeah, since the moving vlogs I haven't filmed. If you haven't watched those, then you're welcome to do so. I will link them up somewhere here. So welcome to my new bathroom. I've only been living here for a month now and this is definitely gonna be the topic for today. I asked you guys on my previous video if you wanted me to talk about something and you guys asked to talk about what's it like to live alone and how's my life been so we're gonna dive into that while i am getting ready i'm going to a wedding next week which i'm gonna be vlogging as well kind of so if you're interested in that definitely stick around and don't forget to subscribe and today i mean tonight is the bachelorette party my high school best friend Corina is getting married next week which is just crazy it's like it was yesterday that we were in high school taking classes and going to parties and having boy drama and everything. So it's just crazy. Um, so it's gonna be her bachelor party tonight. I'm so excited. I already have the outfit picked out. Thank you guys so much for those of you who helped me on Instagram picking out um, the outfit. So let's just dive into it. I'm thinking about doing a lyric. Blah, I cannot speak. Let me just drink a little bit of water. I'm thinking about doing a natural makeup look, nothing bold. So yeah, living alone, definitely something new. If you guys don't know, by the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Effie or Fujina, one's a nickname and one's my real Hungarian name. I've been living with my mom and her husband for the longest time, really in the outskirts of the city. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. Oh, hey, hi. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this one and maybe a darker on the edges. I have never lived alone before. I have finished university this July. I'm officially a psychologist. And during the summer, I've been out and about. And the biggest one is Balaton. And I definitely spent a lot of time there with my friends. That was a week when we rented a big house for the ten of us, kind of, and it was just an amazing week. We went out eating. Good morning! We are going to a brunch with the girls, leaving the boys here. It's an all girls brunch day. Thank you! Hi! <laughs> I'm just hoovering. <laughs> Played beer pong, reading a lot. I'm just spending time together. <laughs> We had a little barbecue. I went another time with another group of friends for just a few days. That was mostly partying and just chilling and, you know, being in the water. But in the meantime, I was also looking for new jobs like an actual job because as i said i graduated and i got my diploma because i knew that i was moving and it's just obvious that i had to get a job first i didn't really know what i wanted to do in terms of starting a new course because yes i am a psychologist but i was thinking about doing a specialization in clinical psychology so i can become a clinical psychologist but that is for four years and there are a few requirements that you have to fulfill. It's all shebang, I'm not gonna get into it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. Or first, I wanted to work something, maybe something else and make money. And then maybe in a few years or next year, start and apply for this clinical psychology course. So I wasn't really sure. I applied to a few, few I applied to a few places, um, job wise, and I didn't have much luck. Some places I didn't really like. At other places, the money that I would be earning, or I would have been earning, was just not 
enough. This doesn't come from an ego place. It just comes from a place that I know how much I need to earn to be able to live and to be able to buy food and also try to socialize and sometimes try to go out. Not anything big, just, you know, like, um, like a normal way of living. bottom to give a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna darken the edges because it's gonna be nighttime and a little brighter on the inside so my eyes look a bit bigger. I definitely have big eyes but why not make them bigger? Okay I feel like that's blended enough. I don't know how much the camera picks up. I guess you could ask why I'm not doing this with a liquid eyeliner. I am not good with a liquid eyeliner. <laughs> Oshi, my one of my best friends, she's so good with a liquid eyeliner and with a whole cat eye look, I could just I cannot do it. About the moving, I thought that it was gonna be a lot more stressful than it turned out to be. It took a week to get me moved from one part of the city to the other part of the city. So I used to live on the northern part of the Pest side of Budapest and now I'm living on the southern part of the Buda side of Budapest. It was, it was a lot because I was still um, working on some projects and also if you saw my moving videos you know that on, when was it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on Wednesday Kori um, whose bachelor party is tonight, <laughs> she had a party a barbecue kind of party so it was kind of like to socialize and get to know um, everyone and or she was also coming because she's gonna be my plus one which is just so exciting and oh my god it was just <laughs> craziness so there are a lot of things which I don't show you guys um, in my videos which are just like personal but I was going through a lot of things and a lot of changes and so many changes has been um, have been happening um, since this summer. First of all, when you're in school for most of your life and then you're out in the world, it's just a different, it's definitely a different way of life. In school, they tell you what is the task, what you have to achieve, and um, if you do this way, then you will get this mark, so then you can pass the test and then you can pass the grade and then you can have your diploma. This is just really, um, like a simple explanation and now with finding a job and actually working a job yes you do have tasks but it's just a different way of living like a different mindset you don't have classes you know what you have to do but there is also a different way of improving yourself um, I hope that you guys know what I mean but it was definitely different um deciding where i want to work and what i want to do actually there's a lot of freedom that comes with um after like post post-grad life like post-graduation and freedom is amazing don't get me wrong but it's like <laughs> the same thing when you have all the uh, possibilities that can also be like they can also make you struggle, like which possibility will fit me the best. I'm gonna do the bottom lashes now. I need to do my brows. I feel like if my brows look good, then I don't really care about the rest. Now on to bronzing. So there are definitely good aspects of living alone. One of my favorite ones, apart from doing the groceries and just taking care of my space is that everything is as I like I would want it to be like I don't have to uh, compromise and I can cook what I want to I can watch what I want to whenever I want to one of my favorite things is that I can't like I don't have to ask anyone 
if I would like somebody to come over. But on the other hand, because I'm living alone, I'm not gonna lie, it can get really, really lonely at times. For example, on Sundays, if you guys know about the Sunday scaries, I definitely had those. Like there was a Sunday when I woke up in the morning and I was like, damn, I'm alone. And I just started crying in my bed. And then I decided that I really wanted to turn it around. And also my therapist told me that maybe I should have like a Sunday routine for myself. I hate when people do this face, but I just cannot see my phone if I don't do it. So, sorry. Yeah, so I don't know what I was gonna say, but, uh, but yeah, getting to know yourself even without trying, I think that's what I was gonna say. And um, yeah, just figuring out what I like, what I don't like, what I am like when I am alone, where can I compromise in my life and what are things that I'm just not willing to like go off, where I could change if I would be living, alone, living uh, with someone, for example, in the future, maybe a future uh, partner. There are good days and there are definitely bad days. Just yesterday I was talking to one of my friends and he was like, oh my god, I envy you so much. And I was like, why? <laughs> because you're living alone, like you don't have to have flatmates, you can walk around naked after having a shower if you want to. And I'm like, yeah, it is cool that I can do that and like I can eat pasta in the bathtub if I want to. I'm not saying that I didn't do that but also it can get really lonely but a lot of my friends do live really close to me like closer to me now and i've been hanging out with them a lot and also running along the danube is just amazing and i took myself out on a date uh, last weekend i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and do more things alone and it's really like I have to say you guys it's really building my confidence I was even debating whether or not if I should go to the movies alone because there are some movies that I really want to see and maybe or she is not interested or I don't know like my other friends they don't have the time and I was like maybe I should go to the movies alone comment down below like do you guys think that it's it's weird if somebody goes to the movies alone because I don't think it's weird maybe going to a concert would be weird Nothing is weird, like there is a saying, fake it till you make it and I'm trying to live by that right now. <laughs> so I guess if I should have a few tips, if you are moving out alone by yourself, try to be with yourself. It is a journey for sure um, because you are realizing, as I said, a lot of things about yourself, but in the long run, it's gonna be really really beneficial for yourself maybe have a sunday schedule for yourself or if you're feeling lonely face some your friends or go out and take a walk um, try to be a little bit adventurous and i don't know look around take a walk around your area if there are new um, coffee shops or buy a new book um, i don't know these are the things that i've been doing and also i'm also working a lot so that takes up a lot of time but try to focus on yourself first because that has been really helpful and beneficial for me i have to say oh so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you're new here definitely subscribe because that really supports my channel i cannot say these things <laughs> with one breath um I appreciate you guys and if you have any ideas that you want me to do here on YouTube definitely comment down below. I also renewed kind of or rebranded my Instagram and posting um, weekly um, psychology content as well every Monday around 8pm. So yeah, so if you're into psychology as well, not just into vlogs and lifestyle, then I would be happy to see you guys there as well and hope you guys have a great day night morning whenever you're watching thank you again so much and i will see you guys next time bye Oh,
Légdik a kokonya, oh, yeah. és a bambú pedig a vigyorítás. Köszönjük!